This is a quick video over random variables. Random variables. Bulls. So let's say we want to know the number of heads, the number of heads we can get for flipping a coin twice. So number of heads, if we flip a coin, a coin two times. Now we're going to say this is our random variable. We're going to say it's Q. Q. So Q is our random variable. And what Q can be, Q can be any of the following combinations. So we can either get no heads. So we can flip a coin twice and get tails most time. And we're going to say we got no heads by just saying zero. Or we can flip a coin twice and get just one head. Just one head. Or we can flip the coin twice and get heads both times. So we'll say that's by two. So Q, Q can either be 0, 1, or 2. So you can either get 0 heads, 1 head, or 2 heads. Now if I asked you what's the probability that Q was equal to 1? What's the probability of Q equaling 1? Well, what am I saying there? I'm saying, I'm saying I want Q, Q to be 1 head. So getting, getting 1 head. So when we flip a coin, I just want to get one head. So if we flip the coin two times, the first time I flip it, we can get a head right away, and then a tails. So that's one way of getting one heads. But there's also the possibility of getting heads the other way, where we get tails first and then heads. So this, the probability of getting heads then tails, that's one out of four. That's one out of four. The probability of this, well this is one out of four. So the probability of just getting one heads, getting one head, getting heads up one time, is two out of four, and that's what you expect. If you flipped a coin twice, you would only get you would only expect to get heads 50% of the time. So 0.5% of the time. Now, if I asked you what's the probability of Q being two, so what's the probability of getting heads both times? Well, that's equal to the probability. Of just getting heads both time. So you can only get that one way. So that is equal to 0 RC. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. So that is equal to 1 fourth. Now if I asked you what's the probability of getting heads 0 times. So not getting heads at all. No heads. Well that's equal to that's equal to the probability of getting tails both times. Tails. And that's just one fourth. Now, what we call this, we call it a random variable, but we also call it a discrete, discrete, discrete random variable. Discrete random variable. And what a discrete random variable is, is a countable, countable outcome. Outcome. So you can either get heads none of the times all the times are one of the times when you flip a coin twice but there's also these other things called continuous continuous random variables so what that means is q could equal maybe one to two and there are an infinite infinite number of uh, possibilities you could have either 1.1 1 .1 or 1.11 1 .1 or 1.111 1 .1 are 1.1111 and you just see you could put an infinite no amount of numbers in here so this is called a continuous random variable and that could be either like the thickness of a piece of rubber or just something where discrete random variable is just is something where you can say okay most like a like discrete random variable overall is just an integer it's either 0 1 2 3 4 5 it's a it's a solid number there's there's discrete parts of it so it has discrete pockets, so it's either 0, 1, 2, or 3, and just goes on like that. Now, I'm going to introduce one new thing, and it's actually not that bad, but it's just a little f, and we're in a little q. And what that means is the probability of q equaling little q. Now, Q can be 0, 1, 2, or 3, or 0, 1, 2. So if I said little Q was equal to 1, well then this 
is equal to 1, and that is equal to P when Q is equal to 1, and what is that? What's the probability of getting just one heads? Well, we found that out. That's just 0 0.5. 0 0.5 or 50 percent. Percent. What about if I said that was 0? Well, that's just when we have 0, and that's just 1 over 4. So simply, that is when the probability of Q, Q being 0, are getting no heads. And finally, we could have F2. That's probability of getting all heads, so the probability of Q being 2, so getting heads both times, and that's just 1 fourth, or 25%. 25%. And the next video, I'll continue on talking about these.